What's going on guys? I've got here a 2004 GMC Sierra 1500 and I'm using this truck to point out to you the location of the starter relay, the starter fuse, and some of the other fuses that are important for the car to start. So we're gonna begin by checking out under the hood. We remove this cover just by pulling up and setting this aside. Now I'm first gonna show you the location of the starter relay. That's gonna be this relay right here. And my favorite way to troubleshoot starter relays is I'll have someone trying to start the car and I'll just start tapping on that relay. You can also wiggle the relay. Sometimes relays can get stuck and by tapping or wiggling on the relay, you can free it up. Further troubleshooting beyond that is we can remove this relay, set it aside, and we can swap in a different relay. I'd recommend swapping in the parking light relay right next to it. If after swapping relays, the truck is able to start, then that's giving me a pretty good indication that my original relay is probably no good. Now let's talk about the fuses. So the main starter fuse is this 40 amp J case fuse right here. Power from this fuse goes to the starter relay and is sent to the starter when that relay engages. But that's not the only thing that this fuse does. This also sends power to the ignition switch. There's another 40 amp fuse here. This sends power to the ignition switch as well. And if you need to remove one of these, it is quite common for the top plastic bit to break off. It's no big deal. But uh, you just kind of wiggle it from side to side as you pull up and it will eventually come out. Now, as you can see, that fuse is in good shape. So the ignition switch receives power from both of these fuses and the ignition switch also provides power to two smaller fuses. So we've got our crank fuse right here, and we've also got our ignition E fuse here. Now the ignition E fuse should be receiving power from the ignition switch whenever the key is in the run position or the start position. The crank fuse on the other hand only receives power from the ignition switch when you are actively trying to start the car. So when you turn the key to the start position, this fuse should get power. Now what's cool about these fuses is they have exposed metal on them, and you can use that exposed metal to check to see if your ignition switch is working. So for the ignition E fuse, the exposed metal here should be receiving power whenever the key is in the on position or in the start position. And the crank fuse, this should be getting power when you are attempting to start the car. You can apply your own power here to bypass the ignition switch if you'd like. Now, power from this ignition switch, or from this, uh, yeah, power from this fuse from the ignition switch goes to the computer. The computer runs through a number of checks to make sure that the truck is in park or in neutral and uh, that the engine is not already running. And if the, if the computer decides that it does want the engine to turn over, it will activate this relay. When this relay is activated, all it does is it connects these two pins together. Doing this will send power directly to your starter. You yourself can send power to the starter by taking a wire or a paper clip and connecting those two pins. Be sure that your truck is in park if you do this and make sure that everyone has their hands away from the engine as the engine should turn over. And uh, like I said, this is just a troubleshooting step. It's not a temporary, it's not a permanent solution. It's just to uh, check things out. And uh, you know, while you're here, the battery is right next to the fuse box. Make sure that these connections are both clean and tight. And you'll also want to be sure that they're free of corrosion. These side post battery connections are notorious for uh, having you know, problems with connectivity. And uh, there's also a junction in here. You can pop this cover open and make sure that there's no corrosion in there as well. So yeah, I hope this information was helpful for you in troubleshooting the starter on your GMC Sierra. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice. Thanks for watching.